Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to show you how to arrange your songs and music using Reaper. If you wanna learn more about music, guitar, audio production, please consider subscribing to the channel. I also have a podcast which I post on this channel in which I interview professional musicians and they share their expertise from honing your craft to creating a meaningful and successful career in the music industry. Let's get started. All right, so arranging music in Reaper. Very simple, very, very useful. So what I have here are just my ideas laid down. Um, when I get started, whether I'm looking for loops, samples, or I'm just recording, I just wanna lay down my ideas. I don't worry about, I don't worry about um, the structure of the song or anything like that. So it's just here, if I press play, it's just gonna go left to right. Now, what I wanna start doing is sectioning off. So the first thing I wanna do is create a time selection. I left click and I drag to create a time selection here. And here where the measure counts, I right click and create region from selection. And that's number one right here. And then I want this to be another section. Maybe there'll be section A or a verse, whatever you want to call it, same deal. But here you have a shortcut. You can do shift R much quicker that way. And then what you can do here for the third section, same deal, right? Shift R and then we're ready to go. So another thing that you can do is customize them. And you can do this in two ways. This is not just for aesthetics, it's really useful, especially when your track starts to get um, really intense or intricate, depending on, on how you work. So you right click the region here, the top bar, and you go to edit, edit, reg edit region, sorry. And really two things I just mess around with, which is the name. So for example, I'll call the first one intro. And the second thing that I do is set the color to it and just any color will do, but that will just help it pop, help it set it apart. And you'll see why uh, later on. So for the second one, you can do the same thing. You can go one by one, or maybe you have all your regions section out. Another thing that you can do is go to view and region marker, uh, region marker manager. And then you have a list here of your regions. And then you can just start editing them here rather than scrolling through uh, the timeline or left and right. So what you want to do, you can do is um, here, for example, I'll go section A and then I'll just set the color right here. Let's go. And then from here, maybe section B, right, right from the get go and then search another color, whatever. Right. And now my sections much faster that way I find I like getting my track out and then getting my regions and just doing it from here much, much faster. So now that I have the regions, what can I start doing with this? Well, one, you can move them. And the cool thing about regions is that anything that's in that selection in that region is going to get everything gets lumped together. So, for example, check this out. If I left click and just move it. You see, just and it moves everything else over and it moves all the media that was in there. If I move it to the beginning, boom, it's right there. So I don't have to copy and paste or anything like that. And then I want it back where it started. Here we go. No problem. So that's that's one just moving things around. But say I want a double uh, B section. What I do here is I control and then I left click this the region and what happens I could move it to before it's going to duplicate it and then boom just like that so maybe I want a double uh, section and then you can also mess around with the length of the sections you can make it larger make it smaller whatever you want to do it's, it's uh, you can work around that or you can control both if when they're next to each other like this for example making set section a uh, shorter by making section B longer, or you could just set it how it was. So maybe I want the intro to come in right in between here. Boom. No problem. And you really here, I don't have to worry about parts anymore. Here is just orchestration song form, which is obviously very important um, when it comes to from songwriting to composition. It's, it's incredibly important. You don't want to be thinking about copy paste here and there. It's more like moving the big uh, puzzle pieces and things like that. So check this out. I have my intro. And 
an A section. Then my B section. Maybe I just mess around with that. Maybe I want another break right here. And then what's cool is that you can start jumping into a duplicated section and start messing uh, with things there. You can start taking parts out, taking things in. You could add new parts. Whatever you want to do, you can, you can do it. But this is how you arrange in Reaper. Very, very simple, but very, very powerful. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. And I'll catch you on the next one.